Welcome back. I want to talk about two important issues with the M1A, the uh, civilian M14 variant. What I've got here, if you've seen my previous uh, videos recently, I've got this nice uh, M1A standard walnut. Now, there are two primary issues that always come up as soon as somebody gets these sighted in. How in the world do I regulate the elevation knob and how can I even see what I'm regulating? So let's step over the bench and we'll work on that and I'll show you how simple it is. Okay, isn't that knob pretty? Now you're probably, you're probably thinking well, let's see, he did that by putting some uh, airplane lacquer, you know, a model, testers model airplane lacquer or something like that. That's one of the popular things to do. Or maybe uh, paint on some regular paint and then wipe it off. Well, how did that work out for you? That's probably one of the more frustrating jobs you're ever going to get into because, you know, the testers lacquer is going to, dry very, very quickly, and um, before, you, before you can even get it wiped off, it's already started to creep into your uh, knurled knob here and everything else. So it's a real problem, and uh, typically it doesn't even stay put. Uh, you wipe it off and you wipe it out of the uh, crevices. Well, the solution is a lot easier than you might think. Let me back this off here. Go raid somebody's coloring book set and uh, find a white Crayola crayon. This is, this is the perfect thing to use. You can wipe this on. All you have to do is it's, it's a, well, it's not the kind of wax that we used to have when we were kids. Used to, we used to eat the wax, I guess. It must have been good for us because we're all healthy now. Now they have something that's, uh, it's, it's, it, you're supposed to be able to uh, eat it without harming uh, anyway. Wipe this on. You'll notice that it doesn't even really want to stick to the uh, clear metal. It'll only stick really to the uh, etched steel. And uh, I'm going to show you how that works on this on this surface right here. Let me put my glasses on. And I'm doing this on the parkerized section. So remember now, letters letters have. Uh, vertical and horizontal, so you want to uh, wipe it in both directions. And the nice thing with this is, you know, you can keep this, keep this right in your shooting box, so when you go to the range and uh, it starts to wear off after, you know, several weeks or several months of use, you just, just put on a little bit more. There you go. So, wipe this on. It looks a little bit messy right now. But you'll see that'll that'll clean up nicely. Just rub it in all directions. Make sure you crisscross it. Now I'm just going to uh, take a simple rag Of course, the essential thing is the is doing the uh, sight elevation knob. That's with a little bit of uh, regular alcohol, and that's cleaning it out. A little bit of work, and that'll that'll come out of that parkerizing and leave it uh, in good shape. A lot easier than trying to use uh, lacquer. That uh, really is difficult. And if there's any place, if there are any places that uh, you miss, such as that, yes, I can throw a little bit on there. Bring it up a little bit, and so forth. Do this one here. Get the point. All right, so I can work on that and get the uh, get the crane out of that parkerizing by just a little bit of uh, 
tender love and care. So there we go. Now the most important thing is how to adjust that elevation knob and regulate it to the distance that you're sighted in. That always seems to be a, a curious issue. Um, and I've seen an awful lot of um, recommendations that I, I frankly don't uh, agree with because uh, I'll show you why. This is much, much, much easier. Now step one occurs at the range. Sight your rifle in at your desired range, get, get on target in any way you wish, whether you're holding at a six o'clock hold on a bull or whether you're holding on center of mass hold, whatever it is. But once you establish uh, where you're correctly sighted in, whether it's a 100 yard, 200 yard, or whatever range, determine how many clicks from the bottom your sight setting is. Record that, because when you want to adjust it, you want to make sure that you're always returning to the same spot. That's the purpose of these uh, hash marks on the elevation knob. So I've determined with this rifle, I, I sighted this in at 100 yards, and I'm up 10 clicks from the bottom. So all I, all I do, first of all, is loosen up your screw. Just see what, the, what I did? I just loosened it up approximately one turn until I can turn that counterclockwise and still have clicks. You don't want to turn it too far because you'll lose your clicks and it will be mushy. So I want to make sure I turn it around to my the hash mark that represents my sight in position. So in my case, I want 100 yards. That's bringing it up to three. There's two. I'm at the 100 yard position on my dial. Very important, you don't, you don't need to hold this and turn it and all these things that I've seen. Just keep on clicking. I know that I'm, that I'm 10 clicks up, so I go down 10 clicks backwards. One, counterclockwise, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Turn the screw back down, and it's all done. I don't have to. I don't have to mess around with repeated, repeated tightening and loosening and all these uh, ridiculous gyrations I see. Now, to tighten that screw firmly, you don't. You don't ever wrap something around there and hold this with pliers. Just simply go to the top. And I don't have to hold anything, just simply go all the way to the top. And that will allow me to tighten that screw very, very nicely because it can't go beyond that position. So there you go, it's all done. So we've got the dial colored so that we can see where our adjustments are. And now we know we can come up 10 clicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm up 10 clicks and I'm right on my hash mark. Simple as that. Easy peasy. So there you go. You know me. I always like to keep it simple, and uh, not only simple, but it's uh, inexpensive. So now we've got some beautiful, we've got some beautiful markings on the uh, receiver here, and uh, on the on the sight elevation knob. And there's Benny. It must have been, we must be having invaders or something. So, anyway, can't be simpler than that. Now you got your elevation knob calibrated to your range. You can see what you're doing when you're on the range. I can see it now even without my glasses. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and God bless. Benny, what was going on up there? <laughs> oh, he's a good boy. Okay. Time for our cigar, huh? <laughs>